Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. So, before I get into this video, I actually wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about things going on in my life. I wanted to give you an update on vocal therapy, and I've been having a great time with my therapist. She is absolutely incredible. I really, really love her so much. I've been using this straw, or sing ring rather, from Uvu, O-O-V-O. -O. That's been helping me out a lot as well. I also have been trying to work on my posture and just like raising my tone a bit more so if you guys are kind of like what's going on with Nicole's voice is she talking purposely higher I'm doing all the things that my vocal therapist wants me to do and I'm trying to do them in a good way and take it seriously I just want to say how grateful I am for how supportive you guys have been with my voice and god I can't even talk about it without getting emotional you know this has been something that's really tough for me and I can't sing right now at all it sucks i'm doing everything i can to get better and i will get better and i'm just really grateful to have a vocal therapist that believes in me and can connect with me and doesn't want me to change who i am god i was not expecting to cry at all like before filming this video i'm embarrassed i'm really sorry i'm just really grateful for the amount of like love and support you guys have given me over it it means so much okay i gotta stop talking about it because clearly it's a sensitive subject <laughs> Come back to reality. As most of you guys know, there has been a surplus of beauty sponges that have been released into the beauty world. And I'm like so shocked about it because it's just crazy how like things get released so quickly. And it's like, I get overwhelmed. We have five new ColourPop sponges. We have the new e.l.f. sponge and we have the OG Beauty Blender. So today, I thought it would actually be a great idea to test out two of the most intriguing to me from ColourPop. So we have the Complexion Sponge and the Velvet Sponge. We have the Elf Sponge. Let me find the right name. Okay, this is the Camo Sponge. Just based off of, you know, just feeling things. And even if I were to like, let's say for the hell of it, let's pick up and feel the other ColourPop blenders, you know? Feeling wise, that's a bit surprising to me. The silicone one feels a bit softer. If I'm feeling all of these sponges, I personally feel like the e.l.f. sponge is the most similar to the Beauty Blender one. And you guys know I'm an avid Beauty Blender lover. The only ever Beauty Blender that I've liked besides Beauty Blender or sponge is the Fenty Beauty one. I think Momo's got that one. Yep, Momo's got that one. So I, unfortunately, I can't compare the Fenty one because that would be cool to include it. So I think the best way to find how I like things is I'm gonna just have to do my makeup twice. F it. I'm gonna just use one blender sponge at a time and you're just gonna have to wait and see. First up, since I'm the most intrigued about the velvet sponge, so to prep my skin, I'm gonna put a little bit of hydration. This is the Milk Makeup Vegan Moisturizer. We are gonna just apply this all over and I'm being a little bit rough with my skin today because we're gonna literally be taking my makeup off probably three times I'm also gonna use a foundation that I don't mind wasting not necessarily wasting because it's education for you guys but you know wasting in my kit this is the Tarte found sealer this is a foundation that I really love to use when I'm kind of just out and about I'm gonna go in with the Ula Henriksen banana face primer honestly not gonna be using too much because it's gonna be coming right off um, hello, I just bought you. You also want to make sure you're not using too many primers. I had um, a good question in my DMs the other day. Someone was like, I'm using five primers. And I was like, why? <laughs> At the most, you should only need two primers, if that. I think of moisturizer as kind of like my pre-primer, and then this Ula Henriksen is 
my all over primer. Let's effing go. Also, I know my nails are atrocious. Leave me the F alone. I'm not going out right now into the public. And I'm just gonna blob this on cause that's normally how I do it when I do my foundation if I'm using a sponge. Like I was saying recently to you guys, I've actually been using brushes a bit more, which is crazy because I used to be so against them. So I'm gonna go ahead and spritz. I don't know if you're supposed to wet a velvet sponge, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty What It Do and I'm just gonna moisten it all over. I'm just gonna treat this as if I know what I'm doing. First up, the ColourPop Velvet Sponge. All right, let's go. Oh, let me zoom you guys on in actually. Hang on one second. Woo! It doesn't look pretty, that's for damn sure. Okay, so some things I'm noticing right off the bat. This sponge is a lot firmer than what I would personally like and what I'm used to. It's a little bit more difficult when it is this firm to kind of get in the creases and stuff. Do people actually really like velvet sponges? So we're pretty much blended out all over. This is what the sponge looks like. And just so you can see, this is comparison to what my beauty blender looks like. Obviously the color is a bit darker. Oh my God, look at it changing colors. Can you see that? I love that. I am a little bit concerned because some areas seem to grab onto the foundation more. Like it's not really evenly covered, whereas like, with this, it looks, well actually, it does the same thing, huh? I guess it just depends where you're patting it the most. Let's move on to a little bit of concealer. We're gonna go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit, see how it blends out, and then move on to the next sponge. You know what, I'm gonna make a quick statement right now. I don't love this velvet sponge. I really don't. I do feel like a lot of the product is strangely getting caught in there. My under eye doesn't even look bright and it's also extremely hard and stiff to get in here. Like it's really hard to get in the corner of your eyes. Here's the concealer applied again and I'm gonna blend it out with my hands so you guys can understand what I'm saying. Like that is a brighter under eye than what we got going on over here. I don't know if the camera is really translating that. Beauty lights tend to blow out all imperfections. I'm very blessed and lucky to have good skin to begin with, but I'm gonna have to say that this sponge right here, just from blending it out, feeling its firmness, feeling like it's almost as if it's absorbing a bit more of the product, which is weird because it, it shouldn't be doing that. I'm gonna have to say this is a no for me. It's a no for me, dog. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. Keep it up, though. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my face, and we're gonna test out the next ColourPop sponge. The good thing here is since I'm not setting anything, it's easy to come off my face. <laughs> Battle of the sponges. Battle of the sponges. All right, again, gonna apply some, just a little bit of cream. And again, I know this is probably gonna be triggering to some people, but we are doing this in the name of science. I will find you guys the right beauty blender. And just applying some of the Oola Banana Bright. I'm gonna go ahead and wet this sponge. This is the complexion sponge from ColourPop. And you guys know I do have a discount code with ColourPop, but I don't really feel comfortable promoting it until I know that I like at least one of these sponges, you know? I'm getting it really, really wet with the dew spray from Fenty. I love to wet my beauty blenders with some type of setting spray because I am convinced that when I just use plain water, it's not as good. Like the makeup kind of stays better. I don't know, that's just what I've noticed. I've actually discussed that with other makeup artists and they felt the same. So let's go ahead and apply. And we're gonna use the same foundation and same concealer throughout this entire situation. So that we have a good kind of like controlled testing. My sister would be so proud of me. She pretty much majored in like bio and like chemicals and like, I think chem was actually her minor, but she used to do like tests like this all the time. So she's gonna be so proud of me. Let's go ahead and use this. Jesus, take the wheel. This already feels a million more times better than the velvet sponge. But you hear how it's like, to me, it's still not as soft as I would like. I still feel like it's a bit too firm. This definitely was easier to blend around, to smooth around. So let's go in with the concealer. This is the NARS again. Just applying like I normally would. And I've kind of stopped bringing concealer out to my temples because I have found where I need it the most is kind of in this area. So again, going back in with this sponge. 
I don't know, you guys. I'm actually kind of disappointed because I love ColourPop. They're like probably my favorite brand at the moment. And if I had to like only pick one, it would be them or like Fenty Beauty or House Labs. Like it would be like one of those three. Like it gets the job done, sure, but it doesn't have the comfort of like a beauty blender sponge that we know and love. Do you know what I'm saying? As a makeup junkie lover, that sound right there doesn't happen when you do that with this, you know? So let's wipe off my face. I'm gonna really need to give my skin some TLC after this. But again, I'm not really like setting anything, so it's actually coming off pretty easily and pretty nice. And now we're gonna use the e.l.f. sponge. I'm actually really excited about this e.l.f. sponge because I've heard really great things and it's the only sponge that feels extremely similar to a beauty blender. And again, just gonna spray this with the Fenty What It Do spray. I love this mister, by the way, from Fenty too. Like, the mister they put in this is technology. All right, so let's go in with this little bullet looking guy. Again, this is from e.l.f. Let's go in. Oh, you guys hear that? Nothing, right? Because it actually feels good. <laughs> Wow, I'm impressed, Elf. What the hell? This is how a sponge should feel. Light, soft, good. I love the shape because even though it's not as big as like this sponge, the complexion sponge, I like how tiny it is that you can get in here no problem. And it doesn't seem to be absorbing too much product or anything like that. I'm gonna go in and out and apply some concealer. Part of me also really wants to try that silicone sponge because that was the softest feeling one from ColourPop just to kind of like get it out of my system. Oh my God, this is so nice. I am shook by this sponge right now. I wish I had a better word than shook, but I'm very surprised. This makes me so happy actually because this is hella affordable. I feel like this applied so nicely. Everything looks so good. My under eyes still look bright. They look concealed. I really love this. I'm impressed. Okay, and just for my own sanity, I feel like I kind of want to test out the ColourPop silicone one. I might do the ColourPop silicone one on this side and then the regular Beauty Blender on my left side so that way we can still add the Beauty Blender to the mix. Even though I feel like majority of you guys already know Beauty Blender is good and it's the OG and all that. Okay guys, primed, moisturized, blenders are wet. Let's go. So just applying this all over. Same shindig. And again, on my left side, we're gonna be using the regular Beauty Blender. And on the right side, we're gonna be using the silicone one. And the only area that it is silicone is here. And this, this is just for my fingers. Everything else is pretty soft, so let's go in and see. This one is probably the best. I mean, you can still hear that it's firm, you know? And this is me being like extremely picky. So moving on to the Beauty Blender, oh. There's no comparison there. I mean, for real, you guys. So, in an effort to save my face and not have to put more concealer on, I think it's safe to say I'm disappointed in the ColourPop sponges. Like, it is what it is. No hate to the brand. You guys know I love ColourPop. I have my discount code with them. I don't feel comfortable recommending these, and that's just the truth of the matter, you know? Like, it is what it is. The price is right. Can you still blend with the ColourPop ones? Of course, obviously you guys saw me blend, no problem. But I have to say, the real winner here is the e.l.f. sponge. I am so incredibly impressed by this sponge and how affordable e.l.f. is as a brand. Like, this is the only sponge I have ever used that even comes close to Beauty Blender. And that's a Fendi fact. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.